Do you want to become a Salesforce admin and are confused from where to study, what all things you need to cover in order to become employable? Then this video is for you. In today's video, I'm going to share a comprehensive plan that will help you become a pro in Salesforce administration and will allow you to kickstart your career as a Salesforce administrator. So without any further ado, let's dive in. Salesforce Administrator is like building block of Salesforce ecosystem. No matter which specific role you choose, whether it's Salesforce Developer, Business Analyst, Consultant or anything else, having a solid understanding of Salesforce Admin is essential. It's like learning the alphabet before you can start writing sentences or paragraphs. So if you're serious about breaking into Salesforce world, then make sure you have a firm grasp of all the Salesforce Admin concepts. Alright, let's break down our 30-day study plan and explore the important topics you need to learn to become a top-notch Salesforce ad. By the end of this video, I'll also reveal the best free resources you will need to ace your Salesforce admin journey. So buckle up and let's get started. Starting with day 1 to day 3, you need to get started with cloud computing basics. Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services including servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics and intelligence over the internet. You should need to learn what cloud computing is, its architecture and how it all works. Plus learn about virtualization and why cloud computing is such a big deal. Now from day 4 to day 7, understand what Salesforce CRM is all about. Get to know about Salesforce.com. You need to learn about Salesforce structure and why businesses love it. Also in these days, try to explore the different types of Salesforce licenses and how they work. From day 8 to 11, explore the different Salesforce environments and get into data modeling. Also learn how to create objects, fields and relationships in Salesforce. From day 12 to 15, understand about the UI customization and learn how to make things look and work the way you want. Also understand about page layouts, record types types and actions. Plus, check out the Lightning App Builder. This is where you can customize the look and feel of your Salesforce applications. From day 16 to 19, learn how to import, export and manage data in Salesforce. Also learn how to bring data in with tools like Data Import Wizard and Data Load. Also check out keeping data organized with Data Export. From day 20 to 22, learn about how to keep your data safe. Data security is all about protecting your data from unauthorized accesses, use, disclosure, disruption, modification or destruction. So understand who gets to see what and how to control access. Get into object level security using profiles and permission sets. From day 23 to 25, understand about process automation. Process automation is basically the use of technology to automate business processes. This can help businesses save time and money and improve efficiency. You'll dig into Salesforce flows which help things happen automatically. Understand login flows and approval processes. From day 26 to 27, you need to get the idea of MVC architecture. MVC architecture is a software design pattern that separates the applications concerning into three interconnected parts, the model, the view and the controller. This helps you to make applications more maintainable and scalable. Finally, from day 28 to 30, you need to wrap things up with reports, dashboards and more. Create different types of reports and build dashboards. Reports are a way of summarizing data into Salesforce, whereas dashboards are a way of visualizing data in Salesforce. Also touch upon sales and service apps, app exchange, charter and activity management. Alright, there you have it. The complete plan that you should follow for next 30 days. To thoroughly grasp these concepts, you can refer to our Salesforce Admin Tutorial series available for free on YouTube. You. We've covered everything in great detail there. All you need is dedication and focus for next 30 days. If you can work on these two aspects, you'll surely thank yourself later. So for the next 30 days, I challenge you to put 2 hours of study time daily and share your progress on LinkedIn tagging Salesforce Hulk. Thank you for watching this video. If you think this video gave you some clarity and provided you with the proper actionable steps, then hit the like and subscribe button to Salesforce Hulk for more such content. See you in the next one.